Hey guys, so in today's video, we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the Double O Toys 104-001, or the Match Excellent Racer, as it shows on the box. And even though it's supposed to be Double O Toys, it's like, I don't know, is that XX or XK, or I don't know. I'm not sure. It doesn't say Double O Toys on the box anywhere, which is I think is kind of odd, but you know how they number and name their stuff is kind of silly anyways. I was supposed to do this review like a month ago, but real life happened, and I get the opportunity. But now I'm getting to it and it is a is an rc that has been requested quite a bit people were looking forward to this thing it's a really big rc for what it is it is inexpensive it's less than 200 dollars. it's a one tenth scale it is a pretty good size rc we're going to unbox it and see what it's all about by the way this video is sponsored by banggood they sent this rc to me for free to do the review as a matter of fact they sent me two of them by accident i don't know what i'm supposed to do with the other one i don't know if i'm gonna be able to give it away or if i should send it back i'll ask them and and see what they want me to do with it but this is a sponsored video i will leave a link down in the description if you want to pick up one of these go through that link and it helps out the channel it lets me good know that you click that link through this video i would appreciate it a lot it helps the channel a lot also don't forget to subscribe to the channel double check make sure you are subscribed to the channel click that notification bell down there wherever youtube has put it at like the video you like it and let's go ahead and get to the video that's a pretty good size RC from what I normally get from Banggood. The battery is probably inside of this. I does it only have one battery? Oh, I thought I was supposed to get more than one battery. Okay, well let's go ahead and get this as a this is a 2S lipo, I think. I'm not entirely sure it's 2200 milliamps. Let's go ahead and get on the charger. Some assembly are required, apparently. Got a power tool, a little screwdriver, a little bit cute thing. And of course, a charger, instruction manual, tire tool, all that stuff. Grab a couple of screws and those two little, I don't know what those are called, spacers, washers? You would think I would know that. I've seen them before. Can we use the screwdriver that it comes with? Maybe. We're going to try to use the screwdriver it comes with. I know people are going to be freaking out saying i need to use a better screwdriver but i'm gonna i'm gonna use the one they give us so that you know if you need another screwdriver yeah the screwdriver works but it kind of sucks now let's take a look at the rc itself this is my first time i'm really taking a look at it the tires okay this is this like for indoor track these aren't really made for asphalt and concrete and dirt and all that that's something maybe like a carpeted track or something like that that's uh maybe that they, they should work on other surfaces too we'll find out about that it's got a metal plate on the bottom and you can see that is where the uh sway bars attach to that's what these right here are according to the instructions but i don't know where they attach they just show them kind of sticking up in the middle of nowhere and you know i don't know if there's something that attaches like there's screw holes right there and there's nothing in there so i'm not sure exactly what you attach those to it doesn't really say in the instructions it just shows the those little bars sticking up inside of there but the metal on there looks decently thick for what it is i don't know what kind of metal it is it is kind of it is kind of flexing a little bit so that's pretty good the shocks the rear seems like it's a little bit stiffer than the front. The front's a little bit more bouncy. Look, like it has a 550 motor in there with a heat sink. That's nice. It's got a heat sink on there. So we're getting to see how it runs. For a little size comparison, I have it next to the Typhon, which is an 8th scale buggy. This is supposed to be a 10th scale, and this is, I think it's a 14th scale. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I don't remember. One thing you may notice, they basically have the same motor, it looks like. I, I, the specs of the motors are not really on the instructions anywhere. They're probably the same motor. So I don't know how I feel about this much bigger and heavier RC being ran by the some, same motor as this one, but I guess we'll see how it runs. One thing that I noticed and I'm kind of confused about, this is a battery that came with it is a 2200 milliamp LiPo. This is a 2600. This is the one that came with the smaller RC. The other one I had over here, the really small one. It, it's kind of confusing to me that I only got one battery with this and it's a 2200 and like a 2600 or something like that. So that's not a lot of battery for that RC. I only got one. 
I'm gonna time it, see how long it takes for me to run it down. It shouldn't take too long at all. I'm not sure how much runtime we're gonna get off it. It's a much bigger RC than the other one. Man, I I don't know. Let's see what it does. Got a stock battery in there. I'm going to set the GPS on there. So we'll see how fast it runs from the very start. Go ahead and start my timer. So we're gonna see how long it runs for the battery gives up. Okay, that's a lot faster than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> That's not bad at all. I thought it was going to be a lot slower than that. So the GPS says 25 miles an hour. Now I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now you get the trim set up right. So steering trim. I haven't cut my yard because my mower is down. I'm waiting on a part. So you can see it's it's having a hard time with this grass. My grass is in, it's not short, so go ahead and get in the air. Land is pretty nice. Flies well. See how well we can correct it in the air. Yeah, you can correct it. It's got the power, it pulls that out. This is definitely designed for a place that has either really short grass, like I said, it's got carpet style tires on there. It flies well, flies easy, jumps real easy. So if I can hit it wide open. It flies really well. <laughs> I have to correct that at all. Uh, <laughs> Look, it's got weed and grass and stuff hanging off, off of it. <laughs> so it's having to, to work to get through all this grass and stuff. Take it to the backyard real quick and see what it does. I know you can't tell, I have actually been working back here. It handles the bumper terrain okay. Better than I thought it was going to actually. I hope my first rollover. I'm surprised it's handling the backyard the way it is. You can see the, the grass is damp. You can, I don't know how well you can see on camera, you can see the, 
the moisture and water and stuff coming up. So you can see the tires are, are wet and stuff. battery that's it the end Let's see we got to eight minutes and 29 seconds for so about eight minutes that's actually longer than i thought it was going to be that's a lot better than i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to stop way sooner than that i didn't think about it i pulled the battery out the battery is 134 degrees Let's see what the motor is 167 I saw 170 there that is that is hot that is hot I'm surprised uh, let's see the ESC is um, 112 113 115 so what do I think about this little RC what do I think about the little 104001 I actually like it I'm surprised I'm surprised I saw the motor and I knew the motor you know, it's basically the same motor that's in the other one. It's a it's a 550 uh, brushed brush yeah brush motor, and it's uh, it had a smaller battery than the the previous uh, W toys that I reviewed. And I'm like, man, it's got a smaller battery. It's got the same motor. This is this might not go well. And I was actually surprised. It hit 25 miles an hour, which is pretty cool. It's flat fast enough. It jumps really well. It flies really nice. I, you know, it held up to everything that I did to it, which, you know, I, I'm not super rough on the RCs anyways, and I'm no rougher than the average person is. If you're going to go out there and just beat them up in the skate park or something like that, maybe they're going to fall apart. But this one doesn't have the power to tear itself apart, which I really like. It's a big RC. It's, uh, well, I mean, you know, bigger than those tiny, tiny ones. It's a pretty good size RC it doesn't have the power to rip its drivetrain apart it is fast enough as it is it's not going to get too crazy on you and i think if you are new to the hobby and you're looking to get into the rc world and you are looking for an rc that that you know is, is inexpensive less than 200 uh i know people are going to say that the runtime isn't very good but for this kind of rc that's actually pretty good eight minutes is about right uh, the batteries are super inexpensive. They're super inexpensive, so you can pick up more batteries. They sell this one with three batteries, and I recommend you get multiple batteries. And and you know, with all that, I think that if you are getting into the hobby and you don't want to dump a ton of money into an RC car, this is a good choice. This is a really good choice, actually. I know just something like a Rustler, you can dump you know four or five hundred dollars into it easily with battery charger. It's probably what five or six hundred dollars. I forgot how much I, how much other things cost. That's that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. So for you to be able to get a really good RC for 200 bucks i think that's a great deal i think that you cannot go wrong with this one right here especially if you're starting out new to the hobby and you want to get you an rc car i think that's a, a great choice i am actually surprised i thought i was going to trash this thing when i saw the motor i saw the battery I'm like man i'm going to be trashing this thing and i and unfortunately it, it delivered it delivered i i am surprised i really am and the shocks are good the shocks out of the box out of the box the shocks are pretty good set up so i am i am surprised with that because you know sometimes they really you know don't set the shocks up very well the car is set up pretty good from the factory and so you don't have to do a lot of changes to it when you get it out of the box i think that is a, a great thing so but anyways you know i i really i actually enjoyed it i actually enjoyed it i didn't <laughs> i thought i was going to trash the thing but nope it's actually a pretty cool rc if you get it i think you're gonna have fun with it too but anyways that's all i got for you today guys thank you so much for watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed like the video if you like it that's all i got for you today and i will see you guys later